There was a time when Musa a.s. was giving a khutbah to his people and somebody asked him, who is the most knowledgeable of Allah's servants? And Musa said, I am. And immediately Allah spoke to him as only uh, he spoke to only Musa. He said, no, you're not the most knowledgeable. There are other servants of mine that have knowledge that you do not have access to. So Musa wanted to learn what that knowledge was. So Allah told him to carry a fish with him and he went on a journey with one of his companions. They went to visit and to meet with one of the servants of Allah who had special knowledge that was privy to him alone. And they were going to meet this servant at a place where something was going to happen, something unusual was going to happen to the fish that they carried. Now Musa and his uh, companion, they traveled and they traveled and finally they, ca they camped at a, a certain area where two bodies of water met. And while they were camping, the, the fish miraculously came to life and it jumped into the water and it, it swam away in a straight line. Now his companion, he uh, noticed, but he forgot to tell Musa. Shaitan made him forget. So the next day, when the two of them went, continued on their journey, Musa, he, it was getting very difficult. So he said, let's consult the fish. And that's when his companion, who some say it was Joshua, his nephew, he said, oh, I forgot to tell you, back there where we were camping, the, the fish jumped into the ocean in a most miraculous way, and it swam away in a straight line. And Musa said, oh, that was where we were supposed to meet the servant of Allah. So they backtracked and they came and they came to the place where they met Khidr. And Khidr was there already waiting for them. And Musa, he said to Khidr, he said, I understand that Allah has given you special knowledge that he has not given to me or anybody else. I want to learn that knowledge from you. And Khidr said, you will not be patient. And Musa said, no, no, teach me. I will try to be patient. And Khidr said, how can you be patient when you don't have that information that I have and you have information that I'm not privy to? And Musa said, no, no, I'll try to be patient. And then Khidr said, okay, fine, uh, come with me, I will teach you, but do not ask me of anything until I myself speak of this matter. So the two of them, they went traveling. Now they came to a river, which they had to cross. And at, they found a boat nearby, and they crossed with the, using the boat. And when they got to the other side, Khidr, he took out a stave, and he punched holes in the bottom of the boat, and he sunk it in the shallows. And Musa said to Khidr, he said, What are you doing? Why did you disable? Why did you ruin that boat for? It wasn't even ours. And Khidr said, Didn't I tell you that you will not have patience? And Musa said, I'm sorry. I, I will not ask you again. So they continued traveling. And they were walking along and they saw a young man approaching. And as the young man was passing by, Khidr killed him. He actually ripped his head off. He killed him this young man. And Musa said, how could you, how could you take the life of an innocent like that? He didn't even do anything to you. And Khidr said to him, he said, didn't I tell you that you would not have patience with me? And Musa said, I'm sorry, if I question you again, you, were, you are free to dismiss me and I will not hold you accountable. I won't, I won't complain. I will leave and, and leave you to your task. To a village where the people were very harsh and they were very mean. The, they did not honor the tradition of hospitality. When they came to the edge of the village, they came to a, there was a, 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 a wall and it was crumbling down. So hither he started getting some stones and they started he started to rebuild the wall. And Musa helped him. And when they were done, the wall was as high as they could reach it. And then hither was starting to pack up and they were starting to go out out, out of the, the village and continue on their journey. Maybe Musa was hungry. But he said to Khidr, he said, you know, um, couldn't we ask the villagers to compensate us, to pay us for some of this work that we just did for them? And Khidr said, okay, that's it. That's the third question. He said, today our, 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 our paths will part. But before you leave me, I will explain to you the three questions you asked me. Now, the first question you asked me was about the boat, the one that I disabled. That boat belonged to some God-fearing people. They would use that boat to ply their trade. They were fishermen and they would, they would uh, catch fish to feed their families. There was a king coming along with his army 
and he was commandeering all of the boats. He would have taken that boat, and he would not have. He they would not have been able to catch food and, and feed their families. So what I did was I disabled it, so that it would be useless to the king. He would not take it, but the fishermen they could fix it easily, and they could go and use it to catch fish for their families. Now the boy, the one that I killed. We feared that this boy was going to grow up and cross. He was the son of two righteous, righteous parents, very good, God-fearing people. We feared, we had knowledge that this person, this boy is going to grow up to become a, a great mischief maker and shed blood. So there's another son coming, and this son would be a, a blessing to his parents. He was going to be a good, righteous son. So we thought, let's get rid of this, this boy. And this new son, the good righteous one, will come and he will be a good blessing to his parents. That's why he was killed. Now this wall that we just fixed, it belonged to orphans living in that village. You saw the character of the people of that village. Their father was a righteous man. He feared that the, the inheritance that he was leaving for his sons would be devoured by his neighbors, by his, the people in that village. So what he did was he buried it beneath this wall. But this wall was crumbling. Very soon, the foundations would have been seen and they would have seen the, the treasure and they would have taken it and the, and the two orphans would have grown up and, and not recovered their pop property. We fixed this wall so that it will last at least until they grow up. Those are the reasons for the three questions you asked me. And now at this point, our, our paths will part. And Musa had to leave hither's company and go back to his people knowing that Allah has blessed some people with knowledge and others with less knowledge and we are not privy to everything that other, other people know. Assalamu alaikum.